and this is 32 through 34. But the children of Louis were not employed in the work with their brother Yasharal from the beginning. Here it is, we read it again, from the beginning until the day they went forth from the land of, of Egypt. And all the children of Louis knew, they knew what the Egyptians had spoke. They knew the Egyptians had spoke all the words with deceit to Yasharal. Therefore the children of, of Louis refrained from approaching to work with their brethren. So while their brothers was working, they did not work. They didn't go the whole time they were in Egypt. They never partook of slavery. Um, I know you don't hear this talked about, but they did not partake in slavery. Verse 34, and Egyptians did not direct their attention to make the children of Louis work afterwards since they had not been with their brethren at the beginning. Therefore, the Egyptians left them alone. Egyptians just left they left Louis alone. Okay, this is Joshua 69 and verse 9. But the tribe of Louis did not at that time work with the Israelites, their brethren. From the beginning, uh, for the children of Louis knew the cunning. You see here, they knew the cunning of the Egyptians, which they exercised at first toward the Israelites. This is, they knew their cunning. They knew what they was up to. The Most High had to show them, and they they didn't partake in the slavery. How did how did you think you read through the Bible? And this is another proof that the Bible is not complete; it's incomplete. We don't have the complete story. And how, how did um, how did Aaron was able to freely go with his brother Moshe to Pharaoh? He was freely going to them. You never thought about that. He was not in slavery. You look at the movies that they, the Ten Commandments that they portrayed. They showed him in slaves. They showed him all the. They showed all of the tribe of Louis in slavery. That's again. They, they you had Gentiles putting together our scriptures and they don't understand. Okay, this is Joshua eighty-one. I'm gonna read three through five, and and this is showing the whole time they was there in their, uh, while they was in hard bondage. And the sojourning of children of Yasharal who dwelt in the land of Egypt in hard labor was 210 years. So it was 210 years of hard labor. And at the end of the 210 years, Yahuwah brought forth the children of Yasharal from Egypt with a strong hand. Remember, remember how he, this is what the scripture is telling us. Remember how he brought the children of Yasharal out with a strong hand. And the children of Yasharal traveled from Egypt. This is where all the different lands they came from. They was in Egypt, Goshen, and from Ramses, and they encamped in Sukkot on the 15th day of the first month. So this began the journey of the wilderness. Once again, uh, this goes along with everything else I've been showing. This is Genesis 13 and 10. This is Lot here. When Abraham and Lot was about to separate, Lot lifted up his eyes. He saw the plain of Jordan that it was well watered everywhere so when he looked over to Jordan he saw it was well watered everywhere get this before Yahuwah destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and look what it's compared to Jordan was watered everywhere like the garden of Yahuwah, of Yahuwah like the land of Egypt I just want to bring out this point when he saw it watered well everywhere he is the scripture saying is watered well like the land of Egypt, and this is the reason they came, they left, and they went to Egypt again. These are things that, if you read the scripture, you study the scripture, you should already know these things. Now, this brings me to the point where I'm going to go over these words that people don't understand, they're written in scripture, you read them over and over and over again. All the examples I've already given, you're seeing people physically leaving, running for safety, running, fleeing for their life. They flee for a time when the person dies, they're seeking to kill them. They go back. This is proven all through scripture. I can't even give you all the scriptures that's pertaining to Egypt and Goshen. It's too many. It's, it's too many. And I'm showing you physical people doing things physically. But yet they want us to believe that this thing is 
spiritual and they're they are missing it the first word i told you i was going to give you refuge refuge go come flee move get out and and here we go this is refuge refuge means and this is when people go to egypt they went there for refuge a condition of being safe safe from what safe from whatever whatever that's uh holding you whatever that's bothering you whatever that's going to kill you whether it's famine whether it's another person whether it's from the destruction that's coming when the most high say come out or move or get out of the way i'm going to judge this place you you it's a condition of being safe sheltered from pursuit danger or trouble this is what refuge means but people do not understand this so it's saying shelter pursuit so who's being pursued you should know and i've went over this many times in revelations 12 13 and 14 look who's being pursued here now when the dragon saw that he had been cast to the earth he persecuted the woman that brought forth the male child but the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly here's this word fly into the wilderness to her place so she's going to fly into the wilderness to her place where she is nourished here's food why family gonna go on in the in the rest of the world here's food for a time time and has a time from the presence of the enemy you so you're saying you do not believe this if you say babylon is everywhere it says from the presence of the serpent babylon will not be in the wilderness if you believe these guys after hearing this video then okay go with them that's fine but the scripture does not say that there is that babylon is everywhere there's not one scripture to support that verse 17 what where, where are the people going to be that don't that don't do this here where they will be and the dragon was enraged with the woman and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring he went to make war with the rest of her offspring who keep the commandments of the Most High and had a testimony of Yahushua HaMashiach. So we see here that if you don't be within his borders, if you don't be in the wilderness, you will be minced meat for the devil. And he will come to make war with the rest of those that don't. This is showing you also that if we just keep the commandments, he, we don't have to do anything. He's going to get us. This shows proof that some will keep the commandments, but they will not keep the command to come out. This is one they want. That's a commandment also. They, this is the only commandment they're not going to believe in, and that's. but they keep the rest of the commandments. All right, let's keep going here. Go. When he said, go from, go from Babylon, go forth from Babylon, this is what he's saying this word. An attempt or trial no no i want to get to the verb not the noun that was the noun here's the verb the verb is move from one place or point to another travel so when he says go from the midst go out from the midst of babylon he's saying move from one place or point to another and he's saying travel move proceed advance uh he's telling you to move this is what he's doing okay here's come we know that we know come come out of her come out of come out of come out of her my people this is what the scripture says it means to move or travel toward or into a place so you are moving you're traveling toward or into a place you are leaving one place and you're going to another place area location nothing spiritual you're reading nothing spiritual. All of this have a spiritual meaning, but you already missed it. If you keep his law, statutes, and commandments, here's a, here's a secret. If you keep his law, statutes, and commandments, you already came out of the hearse. You already came out spiritually. Why would he tell you to come out spiritually if, if he... If, he wouldn't tell us to come out spiritually. All he would say is just keep my law, statutes, and commandments. Keep what, do what I say do. Once you do that, you out of her spiritually. And this is what the people in Babylon are doing. They are already out of her spiritually. They keep the law, statutes, and commandments. They're trying to keep Kadash days that they can't keep in the land of captivity. 
and they are happy in the land of captivity, but they're not coming out physically. Flee. Here's the word flee. Flee from the midst of Babylon. Flee out of her. And we saw all these people fleeing to Egypt, fleeing to Egypt. The, the scriptures say flee to Egypt. All these people getting refuge in Egypt. And here we, are. here we have flee. Flee means to run away from a place or situation of danger. All those examples I gave, we saw people running away from a place, a situation of danger. So when he said, come out of, come out of her, my people, he's saying to come out of her, from her danger that's coming, the, the destruction that's coming, move out of my way. I'm going to do my pleasure on Babylon. This is what he's telling us in the scripture. But for some reason, we fight against what he what he tells us. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that in scripture. When he tell us to do something and we fight against him and what's going to come. All right. This is the Hebrew word for flee. It's the strong H. I've given this before, but for the new people that come to this channel, this is why I'm doing this now. Strong's H 51 and 27. And it's noose. This word is noose. Now let's see what this word means. To flee. Escape. Here we go with these words. I just gave you the definitions of. To flee. To escape. To take flight. We saw the woman. She flew into the wilderness. Here is the take flight. Depart. Disappear. So the people that was in Babylon, they are no longer in Babylon. They disappeared. You look around for the people and they are gone. They have disappeared. Uh, we see again, put to flight, to drive hastily, to cause to disappear, hide. Look at, here's the word hide. Hide from the presence. They hid from the presence of the enemy. He says, enter into my secret chamber and hide for just a moment because destruction, the, the enemy coming with destruction just for a little while. And people do not understand what this means. This have nothing to do with spiritual. This this is this is not spirit. This is something physical here we're talking about. Move. Here we go with the word move. He says move from the midst of Babylon. This is what he said in his word. Move out of the midst of Babylon. In, in, uh, it says the verb go in a specified direction or manner change position so he's saying go so it's going it's this is saying the exact same thing go was talking about and so it says to go walk and again the people in 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 those days they walked the land this is proceed progress advance it's saying advance go it's go away advance go from one place to another all right, the last one here is out. And he says, come out of her. Come out. Come out of come out of her, my people. This is what he says. Come When he says come out of her, I'm bringing out out because you, people don't understand what, what it's saying. A way of escaping from a problem or dilemma? How can you explain this away? All of these words that I'm breaking down here, how can you explain this away? A way of escaping. Out means escaping. So when he said come out of her, my people, he's saying escape from her, my people, from this problem, from this dilemma that's coming, from this destruction that is coming. Um, The adverb. Look at what the adverb says. Moving or appearing to move away from a particular place. You are moving away from a particular place make no mistake about it this is a place not spiritual here you're moving from one place to another especially one that is enclosed or hidden especially one that's enclosed or hidden once again there is it's in give me the scripture that says we must come out of her spiritually and show me one person in scripture that fled spiritually for anyone that believes this, don't just say you got to come out of her spiritually. I want you to leave 
the scripture leave the person who came out spiritually. 